Hi, good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Very nice. Good evening, Carla. Hi, Marco. Very good. We have Mariano, Francisco. Hi, Edwin. Hi, and we have Carlos Garcia. Very good, guys. Uh, my name is Jessica Cerritos. So I'm going to be your teacher for this course. All right. Hi. 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 Hola. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Very good. Uh, we're just going to wait one more minute to begin class, okay? Right. Thank you. All right, guys, let's see. Hi, Domingo, Alexander, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, good? Fine. Excellent. Very good. nice. Excellent, very good. All right, okay, guys, so it's eight o'clock. We're going to wait for some other people to join class, all right? And I see some familiar faces. All right, I see Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Johnny, no le escucho, Johnny. What's wrong with your microphone today? Nope, I can't hear you, Johnny. Oh, okay. Oh, there okay. you go. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Johnny. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm great to see you again. Happy New Year. Well, for everyone. <laughs> Me too. Very good. Nice. All right. I also see hi, Jorge. Jorge Argueta. Very nice. And Edwin. No lo veo, pero ahí está. Yo sé que está. Hi, Edwin and Vicky. Very good, guys. Excellent. All right. So we're going to begin. Um, welcome, everyone, to Basic 6. All right. And Happy New Year for everyone. All right. So welcome to this first course of the year. We're gonna have many other, many more courses during the year, but this one is the very first one, all right? So congratulations for being in this class. It's very, very important. You continue with your English studies, all right? So that's very nice, okay? As I mentioned already, my name is Jessica Cerritos and I'm going to be with you this four weeks, okay? Today we are beginning on a Tuesday, but that's fine. The very last day of classes is going to be on a Monday, but at the end of the day, guys, we are having 20 classes, okay? Right? So, very good. So, you're going to be with me for 20 days, okay? So, you have to bear with me. <laughs> All right. Um, very good. As uh, we always do on our first day of classes, we always share some general guidelines. All right, just give me a second. Good evening. All right, so we always share some um, general guidelines just to um, check and make sure that we are on the same page and that we understand some of the requirements that INSAFORF and Inglés Corporativo require and ask from you. Okay, from you, the participants, and from me, the teacher or the facilitator. All right, so I guess all of you guys are not new to the program. We may have some new students, but most of you come from last year. So this is not the first time you're with us. So you know the guidelines, but I need to remind you of the guidelines. All right, so I'm just going to share my presentation with you. All right, so we can uh, talk about it, talk about the guidelines, talk about the things that we need to, <clears throat> excuse me, remember, talk about the things that we need to keep in mind because they are very important, okay? Daniel Antonio Luna, nice to see you. Hello, teacher, how are you? Nice to see you too. Nice to see you, very good. Marisa, uh, welcome, and I see also Jorge Elvir. Elvir. 
el beef. I don't know. You correct me, Jorge. <laughs> yes, it's correct. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. And then I have other people here. Very good. And I, well, I don't see Vicky, but she's around. All right, very good. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you just to um, guide you through the general um, details of the course. Just give me a second. I'm about to share this here. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to go wait at the beginning here. All right, so as you guys can see, all right, you guys are now in basic module six. All right, so one more and you're gonna go to intermediate one. Yay, super, all right. So you guys are half this, all right? Well, a little bit before half, but you're getting there, okay? So that's good. All right, that's me, so you know me. As I said, my name is Jessica. I have been teaching for the last 20, 23 years, me va a quitar uno, pero no, it's been, I've been teaching for 23 years, and I also, well, I work at Inglés Corporativo, I work at UCA, I work at Evangelica, and I'm a professor there, so everything I do is I teach English, all right, all day, every day, all right, so it's quite fun, so that's me, guys, very good, okay, here are some requerimientos that we are going to talk about this, all right? One that we need to remember is that whenever you start your classes, you have to have your complete name, um, just like in your Dewey, all right? So number one says, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma, all right? Y es según su Dewey. Entonces, por ejemplo, Johnny tiene Johnny Omar Torres Mata. ¿Verdad? Si usted solo está acostumbrado a que le llamen Johnny Torres, perfecto. Pero en la plataforma, aquí cuando nos unimos a Zoom, necesito su nombre completo según Dui. ¿Por qué? Porque recuerde que estamos siendo siempre um, monitoreados por Insacorp. Ellos necesitan ver el nombre completo de los participantes, all right, según su Dui. Porque ellos hacen como el contraste de información. Ellos comparan. Ah, bueno, entonces... Mariano Pacas, ¿será Mariano Pacas o será Mariano? Dígame su nombre completo, Mariano. Mariano José Pacas Santa María. Excelente, ¿verdad? Entonces ellos se ponen así como, ¿será el mismo? Sí, es el mismo, ¿verdad? Pero para eh, cuestiones de auditoría, si sí necesitamos los nombres completos. Ahorita no se preocupe, si ya ingresó así, no hay ningún problema. Ya sea en el transcurso de la clase, yo se lo cambio o lo cambia usted. O ya mañana estamos todos en la misma sintonía. All right, don't worry. Um, en el caso que tenemos algunos compañeros que están como oyentes, si hay alguno, usted sabe si está en calidad de oyente o en calidad de eh, no oyente, o sea, que está inscrito como tendría que ser. All right, entonces, si usted está así, ponga ahí oyente. Eso no quiere decir que usted, por ejemplo, eh, digamos, domingo ahorita está, por decir algo, va de camino. Y entonces él me pone oyente porque solo está escuchando, ¿verdad? Eso no es por eso, sino que es porque hay unos compañeros que o mandaron su documento, su documentación un poquito después, all right, y no se logró como inscribirlo totalmente, aunque está acá, no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Entonces, tengamos cuidado con eso. Si por alguna razón usted no está activo en su clase ahorita, no tiene encendida su cámara porque va de camino, no se vaya a poner oyente, ¿verdad? Solo para hacerme recordar que en este momento usted no puede participar, sino que es porque, eh, por eso que les digo, ¿verdad? Solo algunos compañeros están como bajo la calidad de oyente, ¿all right? Luego dice acá, y eso es súper importante, cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Y eso se tiene directo eh, enlace, digámoslo así, con la misma auditoría del nombre. Necesitamos corroborar que, uh, por decirle algo, voy a decir otro nombre de otro compañero o compañera que tenga acá. Por decir algo, eh, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. De repente eh, apaga su cámara y nos queda la duda, voy a decir. Yo sé que están ahí, ¿verdad? Pero nos queda la duda si realmente está Jorge ahí o si está el hermano, la esposa o quién está detrás de la cámara, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo para asegurarnos que siempre y todas las noches sea Jorge, Alfredo, Argueta Flores, necesitamos la cámara encendida. Esto por cuestión de auditoría y dos, por cuestión de pedagogía. 
¿verdad? Para mí como docente es mucho más fácil estarle viendo, ¿verdad? Cuando yo estoy explicando un tema para yo darme cuenta si el tema está siendo eh, adquirido, ¿verdad? Está siendo eh, entendido o de repente usted se pone así como, mm, no sé, pero si usted si se pone así y yo lo veo y digo, ah, quizás no me captó todo y lo vuelvo a repetir. Pero si usted tiene su cámara encendida, yo no tengo idea. Uno, si está ahí. Dos, si me entendió. Tres, si necesita que yo le explique algo. Entonces, pedagógicamente, es súper importante que usted me encienda la cámara también. De repente, si yo entrara a clase y, e hiciera esto, yo le estoy hablando y le estoy dando las instrucciones y lo más probable es que usted esté pensando, ¿y cómo es la teacher? ¿Verdad? Usted dice, bueno, o, o nomás entramos, el, les quedó la duda si será un hombre, será una mujer. ¿Verdad? Eso para empezar. Pero luego yo sigo hablando y usted dice, ¿por qué no enciende la cámara? ¿Verdad? Entonces también sería como incómodo para ustedes no saber quién es la profesora, cómo es la profesora, eh, si la profesora está así. En verdad, o está así como activa y hablando con ustedes. Entonces, es una comunicación muy importante que dentro de la, eh, de la virtualidad lo hacemos lo más presencial posible. All right? Entiendo que muchas veces o algunas veces la cámara nos puede fallar, a veces la internet se nos pone un poco más lenta si tenemos la cámara encendida, pero tratemos eh, el mayor tiempo de tenerla encendida, ¿verdad? A veces. Eh, Va en camino, va en el bus, obviamente no lo voy a arriesgar, el bus es de repente es peligroso, igual si usted va manejando, ¿verdad? Pero son situaciones que no se dan todos los días. Pero también la comunicación es como muy importante, ¿verdad? Teacher físico, hoy me agarro la tarde en el trabajo, voy para mi casa, nomás llegue, yo la encienda. Perfecto, no hay ningún problema. Luego vamos con minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Cada quien sabemos y conocemos nuestro entorno, ¿verdad? De repente es difícil con todos los sonidos que tenemos alrededor, ¿verdad? En mi caso, para mí es casi imposible apagar el micrófono porque soy la maestra y soy la que los estoy guiando, ¿verdad? Y digamos que tengo la suerte, por decirlo así, de vivir en carretera y de repente pasan pues los, um, los camiones y de repente se escuchan. Entonces, las disculpas del caso, pero es así, ¿verdad? Pero si yo escucho algo que ya viene en camino y de repente como muy vicioso lo logro apagar, ¿verdad? Así es que me van a disculpar con eso. Pero en el caso de ustedes, en el caso de ustedes, sí, ahorita hay una bulla por acá. Eh, en el caso de ustedes que no están como hablando todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí es necesario que tengamos nuestro micrófono apagado. ¿Verdad? Especialmente si hay un poco de interferencia. Si usted está solo, sola, o ya no hay niños chiquitos, o nadie está viendo tele, entonces no hay ningún problema, lo puede tener ahí encendido. Pero siempre estar pendiente, ¿verdad? A veces nos cae una llamada y no queremos como darnos cuenta de lo que le está pasando en la llamada. Pedimos participación activa en todo momento, ¿verdad? Es muy importante que usted um, participe en clase, participe con el grupo. Yo los mando a trabajar en grupo bien seguido eh, durante la clase y la idea es que si están en grupo es que todos participen en grupo, ¿verdad? De lo contrario, los dejar acá e hiciéramos la actividad individual, ¿verdad? Así es que con eso tenemos que igual. Acuérdense que si la clase se vuelve dinámica, si todos participan, si todos hablan, pero si nadie participa y nadie habla, de repente solo yo y yo y yo, como ahorita estoy haciendo, entonces también se vuelve como muy aburrida, ¿verdad? Entonces yo me vuelvo yo al centro de, de la clase y no ustedes, y necesito que sea al revés. A ver, preguntas o dudas hasta ahorita. ¿No vamos bien? Ok. Excelente. A ver, decimos que la asistencia, eh, la asistencia es 100%, ¿verdad? No es que, ah, fíjese que hoy no tengo ganas, ¿verdad? Hoy estoy bien cansado, yo entiendo y de verdad lo felicito porque después de un día arduo de trabajo, usted todavía está aquí de 8 a 10 escuchándome en clase, participando, se vuelve bien difícil y entiendo que estamos cansados pero sí necesito que estemos aquí al 100%, ¿verdad? Acuérdese que usted está gozando de una beca, el cual hay mucha gente que no tuvo la oportunidad, 
Y la un, el único, voy a decir, el único gran requisito es que usted esté acá en sus clases el 100%. ¿Verdad? Luego decimos, igual la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con las tareas o la clase, con la clase completa, ¿verdad? De repente usted dice, Ay, solo voy a entrar 15 minutos y me van de todas maneras. Van a, a tomar asistencia y voy a estar en los primeros 15. Acuérdense que son los 120 minutos la asistencia, ¿verdad? Eh, se cuentan los 120 minutos. Eh, y no los cuento yo, los cuenta la plataforma y luego los compañeros que están atrás de bambalinas, por decirlo así, ellos hacen la sumatoria según la plataforma y luego Insacorp corrobora esos minutos, ¿verdad? Así es que es todo un proceso. Eh, Hablando de la asistencia, la asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones. Acuérdense que la clase dura dos horas. Por lo general, yo la tomo a eso de las 8 y 10 para dar espacio a que sigan entrando. Eh, no la voy a tomar a las 8 o 8 y 1, ¿verdad? Porque es demasiado pronto, pero ya a las 8 y 10 por lo general la estamos tomando. Luego la tomamos a las 9 y luego ya casi para despedirnos a unos 5 minutos antes de las 10. Igual es importante que cuando mencione yo su nombre, usted me diga, aquí estoy, presente, present, I'm here, I'm here, teacher, como usted quiera. Pero que se escuche, ¿verdad? Que usted está ahí. All right. Luego, recordarles para los todos, ya voy a preguntar quién es nuevo o nueva, pero de todas maneras, todos estos alineamientos nos caen bien el recordatorio más en un nuevo año. ¿Verdad? También recordarles que todas las noches durante el módulo o durante el mes, yo me quedo 10 minutos con cada participante. Pero dice, me dice, teacher, ¿y cómo sé que, cuándo me toca a mí? Entonces, hoy yo voy por lista de asistencia, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ahora le tocaría a Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. No sé si está por ahí Carlos Roberto. Pero igual, después lo vamos a ir viendo. Yo les puedo ir dando el orden para, de la semana para que ya usted se programe y sepa que de 10 a 10, 10 se va a quedar un ratito conmigo y, no, y ya nunca más, por decirlo así. ¿Verdad? No vaya a creer que es todos los lunes o todos los martes o todos los días. Si usted dice, teacher, ¿en serio? ¿10 minutos más? Solo es una vez. All right? Y vean el beneficio, ¿verdad? Usted ahí puede preguntarme sobre el tema pasado, el, el tema que vamos a ver mañana, si en caso usted ya se adelantó o cualquier cosa relacionado con su aprendizaje. Ah, los permisos no son disponibles, ¿verdad? En este programa, por eso decíamos que la asistencia es del 100%. Usted me puede comentar, teacher, mire, tengo una situación, ¿verdad? Eh, pero permiso yo no le puedo dar, ¿verdad? Yo le puedo comprender la situación y decirle, bueno, espero eh, que la situación mejore, trate de conectarse eh, a su clase, como ya sabemos que eh, la asistencia cuenta, ¿verdad? Así es que permisos yo no les puedo dar. A ver, seguimos aquí. Las tareas y evaluaciones. Um, tenemos eh, la plataforma de aprendizaje. Eh, es un 80% del que usted tiene que sacar como mini, nota mínima para poder pasar al siguiente curso. Siempre y cuando también cumpla con el porcentaje de asistencia. Usted puede tener 100% en la plataforma, pero entró nada más 10 clases. No, lo más probable es que usted no vaya a pasar al siguiente módulo. Entonces es asistencia tan importante como la plataforma o viceversa. Yo no les voy a dejar tareas eh, aparte, ¿verdad? Yo no les voy a dejar tareas aparte. Toda la plataforma está ya eh, estructurada, que las tareas ya están ahí. Obviamente, aquí tenemos fechas de septiembre, octubre. Eso no se preocupe. Acuérdese nada más que tenemos, eh, después de la segunda unidad, tenemos un examen de medio curso. Y después de la cuarta unidad, o sea, la última, tenemos el examen final y ya les voy a dar la, les voy a dar la fecha cuando para, para cuándo más o menos usted tiene que tener, tener terminado su examen eh, de medio eh, curso y su examen final. All right, todos acá ya conocemos un poco de Zoom, creo que la mayoría, igual a veces hay nuevos en el uso de la plataforma Zoom. Hay un botón en la barra de abajo donde usted puede apretarlo, donde hay un micrófono y ese nos da silencio. ¿Verdad? Está el, el icono también de la camarita y ese apretamos todos para vernos, ¿verdad? En caso necesita apagarlo porque se va a levantar un minutito, dos minutitos, no hay problema, regrese y lo vuelve a encender. Está igual el icono del chat, 
¿verdad? Y luego también que usted puede escribir algo ahí. El breakout rooms, eso lo tengo yo, ¿verdad? Donde yo los voy a asignar a sus grupos pequeños y usted nada más eh, le da aceptar y ya se va a su grupo, ¿verdad? Usted regresa cuando yo cierro los grupos. Antes no se sale. Hay un botón por ahí que es para pedir ayuda, ¿verdad? Eh, igual, usted lo va a ir conociendo a medida vamos caminando con esto. Voy a dejar de compartir. Do you have any questions? Hasta ahorita preguntas de los lineamientos que estaban en la PowerPoint que acabo de terminar de compartir. At the moment, no. Bueno, right. for me. No, for sure. Jorge? No, for sure. Ok, very good. Ok. Very good. Excelente. Pregunto, ¿hay alguien nuevo o nueva en el curso o... Bueno, en este curso en sí y en, en inglés corporativo, que nunca ha estado con nosotros anteriormente. ¿Todos ya vienen? ¿Ya? Mariano, ¿usted es nuevo? Yes. Sí, sí. Ok, muy bien. Nuevo, nuevo, nuevito. Sí. <ríe> ok, Primera excelente, vez. Mariano. Muy bien. All right, very good. Bueno, entonces, bienvenido aquí. No se preocupe que lo vamos a hacer parte de esta gran familia. Oye, súper bien. Muchas gracias. Muchas bien. gracias. La segunda pregunta, ¿tenemos todos y todas los accesos o el acceso a la plataforma de aprendizaje? No a la plataforma Zoom, sino que a la de aprendizaje. ¿Sí? ¿Todos? Yes. All right. Very good. Ok, guys. Very nice. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very nice. ¿Ya la exploraron o solo recibieron el acceso y dijeron, ay, después la veo? No, ya imprimimos hasta el manual. Excelente. Yes, Maritza, ya imprimió hasta el manual. La felicito. Muy bien. Gracias. Right. El manual que vamos a estar usando está dentro de su plataforma de aprendizaje. Es descargable y la puede imprimir. ¿Verdad? Igual no se preocupe porque yo siempre comparto. Por ejemplo, estamos trabajando en la página 15. Yo le voy a presentar, le voy a compartir la página 15. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si en caso lo dejo en el trabajo lo dejó en su casa y está en otra casa o algo, no se preocupe que siempre comparto la página o las páginas en donde estamos trabajando. All right. A ver, ya casi como para ir terminando porque ya, ya hablé mucho. All right. Eh, solo las normas de convivencia como en toda clase presencial o en línea. ¿Verdad? Recordarles, eso de la cámara es importante, lo del micrófono es importante. Uh, yo sé que muchos ya estamos en casa. ¿verdad? De repente nos sentimos como bien cómodos y cómodas, ¿verdad? Pero siempre es, es recomendable que busque un espacio cómodo, pero no tan cómodo que sea su cama donde se me va a estar durmiendo, ¿verdad? Y de repente vamos a estar viendo que Johnny está dormido y se le cayeron hasta los lentes, Johnny, ¿verdad? Así es que yo le recomiendo que esté sentadito así como, como bien. Usted puede estar en su habitación, no hay ningún problema en su cuarto, ¿verdad? Pero sentadito en una silla, no se va a acomodar demasiado. Son dos horas, ¿verdad? De repente ya tiene hasta la almohada encima, ¿verdad? Así es que eh, eso. Igual, eh, de repente, eh, ya ha pasado, por eso se menciona, los caballeros, acuérdense que está en clase, ¿verdad? Y yo sé que está en su casa y que usted de repente dice, ay, pero teacher, es que aquí hace un calor que usted no tiene ni idea. Con un ventiladorcito por ahí, ¿Verdad? Pero no se me quite la camisa. Yo no quiero ver esos músculos, ¿verdad? Así es que no, no es momento de enseñar músculos. Tampoco las señoritas, mucho menos, ¿verdad? Así es que eh, es importante que nos acordemos que estamos en, en clase, ¿verdad? Aparte, acuérdense que estas clases se graban y se suben a YouTube, ¿verdad? De repente van a ser los músculos famosos de Daniel Antonio Luna por todo el ciberespacio, ¿verdad? All right, así es que eso. Igual yo sé que la hora es difícil en el sentido que muchos quizás no alcanzaron a cenar, me incluyo, All right, pero no podemos estar cenando en clase, ¿verdad? De repente si María Melina está ahí comiéndose unas deliciosas pupusas, que son mi comida favorita, a mí está, se me va a olvidar, María Melina, lo que estoy tan enseñando, ¿verdad? Por ver ahí el curtido y la salsa, así es que no, ¿verdad? Puede tener una agüita, un café, un té, pero pues... Así nos toca, ¿verdad? Son los sacrificios que tenemos que hacer. Así es que comidas, pues no una galletita por ahí podría ser, pero no así que monta mal el pedazo de pizza, pollo, no. All right, gracias por eso. Si no, a mí me van a tener sufriendo. Que mire que vengo de otra clase, así es que obviamente no he cenado. 
All right, muy bien. Entonces, eso sería. No sé si se me queda algo más por ahorita. Si no, me voy a recordar en el camino. All right. Creo que eso sería nada más. Eh, hoy me agrego el grupo de WhatsApp. No lo he hecho todavía. Ya me voy a agregar igual. Y ahí estoy a la orden. Y estamos para servirle en todo lo que sea posible. Los compañeros que están, eh, Romeo, Misael, Vicky, Francisco, espero que podamos encender nuestras camaritas en el transcurso de la clase. Ok, guys. Eh, de hecho, esperábamos más compañeros. De hecho, esperábamos 28. Ahora right, nos faltan 6. Ya. Yeah. Ok, esperemos que ellos se unan después. Dígame. Eh, en eso del grupo de WhatsApp, yo no estoy... Ah, no está no agregado, cómo... Mariano. Ah, no. ok. Eh, cuando a usted le mandaron de parte de Inglés Corporativo todas las credenciales para entrar a Zoom, para entrar a su plataforma, ahí también decía el link para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Pues right. sí, sí, ya, lo ¿Ya lo vio? Sí. Ok, entonces ahí sí. se puede autounir, Mariano. Oye. Ah, ya estoy. Bueno. Yo también. Excelente, ¿verdad? Gracias. Así es que ahí vamos. Muy bien, Mariano. Muchas gracias. Ya sabe, a la orden. All right, guys. So. That's it for me. I'm going to shut up. I'm not going to say anything else anymore. All right. As I said, my name is Jessica. Por los que entraron tarde o un poquito después, voy a tomar ahorita la primera asistencia y luego el micrófono es de ustedes. All right. So, guys, tenemos Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Walberto Rodríguez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present. Ya la vi, Fátima. Uh, <laughs> Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present teacher. Dije bien su nombre. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, muy bien, gracias. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Present. Thank you. José Francisco Hernández Ábalos. I'm here. Ok. Ah, a tiempo. <ríe> a ver, um, Carla... Bena, Benazir Lara González. Present teacher. Ok, Carla, ya la vi. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. Ok. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Present teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Nancy Lizeth Rodríguez Escoto. Present teacher. Hi, Nancy. Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Present teacher. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodríguez. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Ok. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Oh, Carlos, no lo había visto. All right. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. All right. Jorge Alberto Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo. Yes, thank you. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Amilcar Cañengues Aceituno. Mm -hmm. All right. Ok. All right, guys, we're good. Very good. Let's see. We're going to start. I want you to tell me a little bit about yourself. I want you to introduce yourself. Uh, tell me anything you want, your name, where you come from, why do you want to continue studying English, what are your plans, all right? So just let me know you because I don't really know you, all right? So Marco, David, ah, también, tell me how you want me to call you. If you want Marco, David, uh, como usted guste, all right? Yes, Marco, you start. Right. 
Thanks. Good evening, everybody. My name is Marco David Velasquez. I like the uh, tell me or call me Marco. I work in in a, a factory or yes, maquila. A factory, yes. Uh -huh. I am mechanic and electrician and other. Um, I like this language because I need to learn every day and maybe on the future I travel to USA or other country. Okay. Uh, like like the class. Excellent. Thank you, Marco. Nice meeting you. All right, Domingo, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, please? Okay. Uh, good evening, class. Uh, my name is Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Um, I like in the Cojute PK. Oh, okay. Uh, I like to practice uh, all kicks of, of, of sport. Okay. Uh, I work in textile company. Mm -hmm. My number company is a company. Mm -hmm. It's Rayones de Salvador. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I work at um electrical. No, oh, an electrician. Electrician. Okay. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. very good. Mm. Excellent, Domingo. Very good. Domingo, you want me to call you Domingo or Alexander? Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Yes, okay. Eh, gusta que le diga Domingo o Alexander? O no, no tiene alguna preferencia, no? No, no, Alexander también. Casi siempre okay. Alexander me dice. Ok, perfecto, Alexander. Very nice. Thank you. Mariano, uh, tell us about yourself. Hi, class. Good evening. Uh, my name is Mariano Jose Paco Santa Maria. Uh, I like to call me Mariano. And I am chemical engineer. Uh, I like to learn English. I have to learn English because I have to take more opportunities in, in my professional career. Okay. Perfect, very good, Mariano. Thank you, nice meeting you, Mariano, and welcome. Very nice. Johnny, tell us about yourself, Johnny. Good evening. My name is Johnny Torres. Um, I work in a private school. I am teacher. Um, English. I like. I like to no. I like to learn. No teacher. Mm -hmm. no, yes. Uh, yeah. You I say like, I would like to learn it, or I like to learn it because uh huh. Learn more every day. <laughs> Only that. Excellent, Johnny. Thank you. All right, and welcome. Ever, tell us, Ever, tell us about yourself, please. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Ever Candray. I am from um, San, Salvador, San Salvador. I work in a family business. I am a seller in the company. And I would like to learn the language because my customers and providers uh, are uh, American, and I would like to to talk with this uh, más fluido o una comunicación directa con ellos. All right, perfect, Ever. Very nice, but you're doing a very good job, Ever. Very nice. Thank you. Nice meeting you, you, Ever. Very good, Maritza. What can you tell us about yourself? Good evening, everybody. My name is Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Call me Maritza. I am a manager assistant. I, I live in Santa Tecla. All right, Maritza, very good. Nice meeting you and welcome. All right, Hilmar, can you tell us about you? Good evening, everybody. My name is Gilmar Mendez. 
I live in the city of Santa Tecla. I work in a television channel. I am in charge of IT. Um, I like to be called the first name, Hilmar. All right, Hilmar, thank you so much and welcome Fatima, Alejandra. Tell us about yourself, Fatima. Good evening, everybody. My name is Fatima Alejandra Centeno. I like to call me Fatima or Alejandra. Okay. I live in Lourdes. I work in a company distributions. I am a counting assistant. Oh, very nice. You're an assistant, accountant assistant. Very good. Thank you, Fatima. Welcome. All right, Carla. Okay. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Carla Lara. I like to be called Carla. Okay. I work in a um, recycling company in oh. the area the exportation. Okay. Um, and in the future, I have work on site in the country. Okay. All right, very good, Carla, nice, thank you. Thank Interesting, you. very good. Carlos Garcia, tell us about yourself. Carlos Garcia? Hi. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you all, or Same. maybe nice to see you all in case we already know each other. Right. Uh, I'm living and La Pongo, and I work at Cosales, the financial area. And even I'm still working yet. Oh my so goodness, I, and it's very late. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, I'm falling in love with the languages. I'm uh, still, right now I'm learning Japanese too. Oh wow, and, Carlos, very nice. Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you, and I, I wanna, uh, learn more about this language and excellent can Marco. practice with all each other thank you of course very good thank you carlos very nice all right maria melina um good night everyone my name is maria melina Irata de salinas and i live in berlin Musulutan. i'm still working in farmacias berlinesas I am a customer service and I'm in this kiosk because um, I want to improve my English and in the future I would like to teach English. That's it. Interesting Maria Melina, I didn't know that. Very nice, thank you. All right, nice. Of course you will. Very good. Carlos Eduardo. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I am Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. I live in, in Soyapango, San Salvador. I work in Claro, uh, the company. Yes. Uh, I like the, the I like to play the football. Uh, becoming the Carlos. Perfect, Carlos. All right. Thank you. All right, let's see, Jorge. Bien, Jorge. Uh, Jorge Elvira. Tenemos dos Jorges ahora. <laughs> Hi, all. Good evening. Um, my name is George in English. <laughs> uh, I, work in, I work in the area of technology as system administrator. And um, I like it. I like to call me George or Elbir. Above, no problem. Uh, I live in Santa Tecla City. Uh, I am forty-five years old. Uh, I want to learn more in the in the in the English for communicator with other people outside the country 
en superation, en superación. Personal growth. Oh, personal, personal growth. growth. Mm -hmm. Personal growth and practice. Perfect. Very good, Elvira. Nice meeting you and thank you for being with us. All right, Edwin, Eliseo. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Edwin Orellana. I live in Alta Vista City in San Salvador. I work in Cosabi DRL. I am human resource assistant. Uh, I like call me Elwin. Yeah. All right, Edwin, thank you. All right, Jorge Alfredo. Hi. Um, good evening. Uh, my name is Jorge. I work in the company that telecommunication. Uh, I live in Metapan, Santa Ana. Um, ahí está. Very good, Jorge. Thank you. All right, Carlos o Alberto. Carlos. No sé si está hablando, pero si está hablando no le escucho. No. Podrán ser sus audífonos, Carlos. Right, no se preocupe, no se preocupe, tranquilo. Vamos a ver, Daniel, Antonio. Hello. Good evening, class. My name is Daniel Antonio Luna. You can call me Daniel. I live in San Salvador and I work near to international airport. Very good. I need to learn English for a better relationship at my at my workplace and with the other people in in a, in a second language. Excellent, Daniel. Thank you so much. All right, Marlon Alberto. Hi, good evening, people. My name is Marlon Alberto Cardona. I work in an engineer area at Decotex. You can call me Marlon. I live in Santa Ana, and I really hope that we can learn and work together. Perfect, Marlon, thank you. All right, Romeo, tell us. <clears throat> Uh, my name is Romeo Rodriguez. I work in Biomed and technical and biomedical. Uh, I live in Cuscatlan. Uh, last night I in Romeo. Uh, mama. All right, Romeo, thank you. Uh, let's see, we have Francisco Avalos and then Vicky and then Misael. Hello, good evening, teacher. Uh, my name is Francisco Avalos. Uh, I am 23 years old. I live in Soyapango. Um, in my free time, I like to play basketball. And I want to learn English because I would like to get a better job. And so I want to improve my skill and my English skill. And that's it. All right, thank you, Francisco. Hi, Vicky. I can see you now, Vicky. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Good evening, everybody. My name is Vicky Gutierrez. I living in La Palma, Chalatenango. I work in Omnivision uh, factory and 
I am a secretary. Um, I like play uh, softball. All right, Vicky, very good. How's Chalatenango? Is it cold? Sorry? Is, is Chalatenango cold right now? Is La Palma cold? La Palma. Uh huh. Is it is it cold right now? Uh, so 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 so. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And Misael, tell us about yourself, Misael. Good night. My name is Misael Rivera. I live in San Salvador. I am twenty-one years old. I work in a group a serial delivery man. All right, Misael, thank you. All right, let's see here. Um, okay, guys, so as I said, we are right now, just give me a second. Give me a second, guys, please. All right, so the reason why I listen to all of you, y de repente usted puede estar diciendo, en serio, oímos a 23, sí. All right, oímos a 23, ¿sabe por qué? Porque de repente, uno, los tengo que conocer, este es el primer día de clase, all right. Dos, porque de repente todavía hay algunos, eh, algunas cosas que se nos, se nos olvida decir, otra cosa que, otras cosas que las decimos de más. Y a este nivel que están a punto de pasar al intermedio uno, ya no deberíamos de decir, ¿verdad? Entonces, para mí es importante tomarme el tiempo de escucharles uno por uno, ¿verdad? Y decir, ah, ok, yo tomo nota general, ¿verdad? Yo no voy a decir aquí, María Emelina, usted dijo esto, ¿verdad? O no voy a decir, Edwin, usted no dijo tal cosa, ¿verdad? Eh, no lo voy a hacer, sino que generalizo y digo, tenemos que tener cuidado con algunas cosas que escuché, ¿Verdad? De los 22 o 23 que estamos acá. Permítame. All right. Y de repente se vuelve, digamos, eh, algo en común, ¿verdad? Algo que tenemos que tener bien claro y si usted todavía lo dice, ¿verdad? Ya no lo diga a partir de hoy, ¿verdad? Cuando usted entra a clase, a un lugar, a una fiesta, a una reunión y es de noche, por favor, cuando entre, no me diga good night, ¿verdad? Porque a menos que usted ya se vaya a retirar y acaba de entrar, si apenas son las 8 y 1, ¿y por qué me estaba diciendo good night? ¿Verdad? Entonces me va a decir, ¿cómo? Good evening. Good evening, siempre, siempre que usted entre. Yo sé que usted ve de noche, ¿verdad? Y es de noche. <risa> All right, pero cuando usted entra, ya sea en virtual o presencial y es algo en la noche, usted dice good evening. Ya a las 10 que nos vayamos a retirar, todos vamos a decir good night. A esa hora no me va a decir good evening porque ya a esa hora ya no doy clase. <ríe> ya mucho, ya pasé todo el día, ¿verdad? Así es que decimos good evening to come in and good night when we go. All right, así es que si usted entra mañana, y me dice, good night, teacher. Yo solo me voy a quedar calladita, ¿verdad? Y usted se va a autocorregir y va a decir, oops, good evening. All right, esa es una. Otra, cuando decimos, um, I live, decimos, tendemos a hacer esto. I live in, I live in Soyapango. I live in Santa Ana. I live in San Marcos. Separémoslo y decimos, I live in Santa Ana. All right, porque lo contrario, pareciera que usted está diciendo living con ING y eso no tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Voy a escribirlo en el chat de acá, solo para recordarle, usted me va a decir, teacher, ¿en serio? Sí, en serio, de repente escuché a varios, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos que corregir eso. Usted me va a decir, I live in, voy a poner aquí Santa Ana, por Johnny. <ríe> I live in Santa Ana, ¿verdad, Johnny? Yes, you live in Santa Ana, right? Yes. All right. Eso sí es válido. Lo que no puede decirme es esto, porque se escucha que usted me está diciendo esto. I live in Santa Ana, y eso no tiene sentido. All right. Solo dice, I live in Santa Ana. Cuando lo decimos más rápido, usted me puede decir, teacher, pero yo lo que dije fue, I live in Santa Ana. Pero hay una forma que lo unimos todavía y pareciera que decimos living, 
All right, so no, I live in Santa Ana. All right, y hacemos, si gusta, como para que el cerebro lo vaya separando, decimos, I live in Santa Ana. All right, very good. Por lo general, cuando decimos, I work, igual lo escuché por ahí, decimos, eh, es mejor decir, I work at UCA, en mi caso, I work at inglés corporativo, I work at Evangelica, I work at Intradesa, I work at a private school. We use the preposition at, all right, when we talk about job or when we talk about where we work. I work at this company, okay? Um, a ver, algún otro por ahí. Ah, ojo con esto. Estamos, vuelvo y repito, ya estamos en el básico 6. Cuando usted dice, my name is, all right, ojo con el nombre. All right, lo estoy diciendo porque lo escuché en algún momento. Entonces decimos, my name is Fátima. No decimos, my name is Fátima. Ney, no existe esa palabra. Ney no es nada. All right. Si usted va a una entrevista de trabajo y lo primero que le van a decir es, hi, what's your name? Y usted le va a decir, my name is Carla, por decir algo. El entrevistador o quien está entrevistando dice, mm, el nivel de inglés no anda muy bien. De entrada, o sea, le bastó un segundo. All right? Entonces, the pronunciation is very important. Okay, so you say, my name is Jessica, my name is Hilmar, my name is Carlos, my name is Domingo. My name. Cerramos ambos labios. Name. All right? My name. Muy bien, Maritza. My name is. Okay? Yes? All right. Um, a ver, recordando... Tururu, creo que estamos bien con esas. Ok, entonces, good evening, I live in Santa Ana, or I live in Soyapango, donde usted viva. Um, my name is, name, all right, very good. Um, y el otro, I work at, all right, guys, very good. So that's why it's very important for me to listen to you when you're speaking, ok? Do you have any questions? No? No questions? All right, very good, guys. Okay. Teacher, yes, Maria. Um, I have a question. Yes. In my case, I I told you I'm still working in pharmacies berlinesas. Mm -hmm. I can say um, I'm still working at pharmacies berlinesas. See, sí, you can say that I still work at or I'm still working at. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good, Maria. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, guys. So we're going to begin with the book or the manual. All right. Si usted ya lo tiene impreso, super. Si no lo tiene a la mano, no se preocupe. All right. So uh, we're going to start on unit one. Okay. Remember that we have four units and we have four weeks. Okay. So that means that we study one unit per week. When we finish the week, we finish the unit. Okay, today on this course, we're beginning on a Tuesday. So that means that we're going to have class Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday. Next Monday, we have, we finish unit number one. Okay, all right. Not Friday because today we began on a Tuesday, not on a Monday. Okay, now usually the last day of the week I make a general review of everything, okay? So remember that it's one unit per week, okay? Now, let's see. That means that we're going to start unit number one. Do you know the name of unit number one? If you have your book, do you know the name of the unit? What is the name of the unit number one, guys? Do you know? The name of the unit number one is job listings. All right, job listings, very good. All right, that's the, that's the name of the unit. What are we gonna see on this? We're gonna see different things, but we're also going to pay attention to the use of can and can't. All right, we're going to talk about the use of can or can't as an auxiliary, as a model verb. Very good, Johnny, I see your book. <laughs> Excellent, Johnny. All right, so that is what we have. So I'm going to share my book with you. Uh, just give me a second. It's right here. Okay. All right, so 
Eh, in case you haven't seen your book, this is it. Make sure that you have this one. Permítame ahorita. It says a student manual, beginner module six. Okay, that's the one, number six. And now we go here. All right, we have the four units. Unit number one is job listings. Number two is staff and schedules. Number three, HR procedures. And number four is trainings, okay? So those are the four units we're going to study. What are we going to see on unit number one? Let me see. Um, Marco, can you please read um, where it says competencies? This Marcos, Marcos, sorry, respond to questions. Can you read that for me? Uh, okay, can you read, can all, you see my screen? All yes. or yes. only everything. three? No, everything. Everything, all right. Yeah. Everything, all right. Uh, respond to question regarding qualifications and potential contributions. Mm -hmm. Talk about benefits I will could bring to a company. Talk about my work experience, filling a job application, provide a specific information related to work experience. Excellent, thank you, Marco. That was very nice, very well done. All right, so those are the competencies that we're going to develop for you, but what are we going to study on grammar? All right, Ever, can you please read where it says grammar here, this part? Me. <laughs> and can, can, Ever, I cannot read. Really... Okay. All right, that's fine. All right. Um, Carlita, can you continue reading, please? Carla, can you read where it says grammar? Uh, reading, right? Yes, please. Okay, article about five requirements of the perfect manager. Okay. Okay. A ver, y donde dice grammar, Carla, can you read it, please? Carlita, donde dice grammar, can you read it? Okay, can, can, a, Example, yes, example. I, okay, I can speak three language. Uh, I can't use a computer. Will be, could be, time expressions. Excellent, thank you, Carla, very good. So we say can and can't, example, I can speak three languages. I can't use a computer. And after that, we're going to study would be, could be, and time expressions. So in this week, we're going to study three topics of grammar. Can and can't, uh, would be and could be and time expressions, all right? Very good, guys. So let's go here. I'm just gonna keep on moving my um, book Teacher, here. Yes. I have a question. Yes, Johnny. Uh, for example, in the word, is, is it language or language? No, it's language. Language. Yes, it's a language. Yes. In plural languages. Languages. Yes, Johnny. Okay, thank you. Very good. Thank you. All right. So here we have number one. Uh, Fatima, do me a favor. Fatima, can you please read where it says, I will be able to, Fatima, read this. Respond. Respond to questions regarding qualifications and potential contributions. Very good, Fatima, very nice. Okay, so you will be able to respond to questions regarding qualifications and potential contributions, all right? Um, Elvir, can you read question number one, please? Where it says number one, let's start. Andre? Number one, where it says, let's start. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, what are you, what are some of your abilities? Are you a fast learner? Thank you. All right. So this is question number one. What are some of your abilities? All right. Let's see. Um, let me see here. Carlos, Walberto, tell me. Voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Um, Carlos, what are some of your abilities? Do you have an ability, Carlos? Yeah, I, I learn very fast. Oh, nice. All right, very good, Carlos. Excellent. Let's see. What about um, Domingo, Alexander? Do you have abilities? What are some abilities that you have? Your microphone, uh-huh. My abilities. Uh, uh, mm. Can you, uh, uh -huh. uh, man, oh, handcrafts. Okay, your hand, like handy, okay, your hand, hand, you make handcrafts. Oh, nice. Uh, hand, hand uh, uh, the fossil, uh, uh, armar, armar algo cuando se dice armar cosas. Ah, uh, build. Your abilities, Ver. you can build or fix things. Ver, uh -huh. Okay, very nice. Ver. Thank you. All right, very good, Alexander. Let's see, Maritza, what um what are some of your abilities? Um, I I learning. I learn. I fast learn. Ah, oh, you're a fast learner. Okay, Maritza, very good. Okay, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. I'm going to share this with you here. Please, call, if you have a notebook or wherever you're writing, please write this. This is the question. What are some of your abilities? All right, what are some of your abilities? Y usted me va a decir, I can. All right, I don't know what. Si usted dice, I can swim, I can write, I can sing, I can dance, whatever. Make a list of your abilities, all right? What are some of your abilities? I can dance. Ah, excellent. Who said that? Who said I can dance? Um, Zumba. Oh, very nice. Super. Cool. All right, I'm going to stop sharing here. A ver, everybody finished? I can. Yeah? All right, let me see. Mariano, what are some of your abilities? Ya las escribieron ahí, ¿verdad? What are some of your abilities, Mariano? Uh, my, I, can, I can fix uh, pumps, uh, water pumps. Oh, okay. All right, okay, very good. Only one ability, Mariano, or you have more abilities? I have more abilities to fix uh, mechanical machines. Okay, like machinery, very good, very nice, thank you. All right, um, Hilmar, what about you? Uh, what are some of your abilities? Um, I have a solution to math problems. Oh, very good. And the problems uh, the computer. Ah, computer so. problems. Okay. Okay, very good. Let's see. What about uh, Elvira? What are you? What are some of your abilities? Uh, <laughs> I can cook. You can cook. In my free in my free in my free time. Oh, nice! Very good, <laughs> and, Uh huh. In my work, yeah, fix servers and computers. Excellent! Very nice. Yes, of course, those are abilities. Very good. Let me see here. What about um, Marlon? Your um, what are some of your abilities? Well, teacher, I think that I can 
I can draw. Oh, nice. All right. A little Very bit, nice. but I think that is that is my ability. Yes, of I'm not course. So sure if I have another. <laughs> you probably do, Marwa. All right, you probably do. All right, let's see. What about Fatima? I can uh, decoration place. Oh, you can decorate places. Okay. Yes. Oh, very nice, Fatima. Very nice. Let's see. What about um, Francisco? What are some of your abilities? Okay, my abilities are I can play basketball and I can swim very good. Oh, you can swim. You can swim very well. Very good, Francisco. Excellent. Very nice, yeah. guys. Okay. Yo sé que me faltan un par de preguntas acá. I'm going to take the attendance ya la segunda asistencia de la noche. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. All right. Um, Carlos Alberto Rodríguez. Yeah. Daniel Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray. Present. Fátima Alejandra Centeno. Present. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Present. Thank you. José Francisco Hernández Ávalos. Present. Carla Benazir Lara González. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present, teacher. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. I'm here, teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present, teacher. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Present, teacher. Nancita, nice to see you. Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Present. Thank you. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodríguez. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. I'm here. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. And Amil Carcañengues Aceitul. All right, guys, very good. Let's continue then here with the uh, book anyway. So here, now we have a conversation. Ben is in a job interview. Listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Here we, ouch. Uh, here we have Andre and we have Ben. All right, Andre says, hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We're offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can't use the spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay. All right, guys. Very good. Let's see. Um, Carlos, Walberto, you're going to be Andre. All right. And Francisco, you're going to be Ben. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big projects and I am a very good at sales. That sounds great. 
Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheet? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner. I get it. Where can you start? Excellent. Thank you. All right. Very nice. That was very nice. Let's see. Two more people. All right. Volunteers. I need two volunteers to read the conversation. The more you practice, the better it's for you. Me, teacher. Thank you, Johnny. You're Andre. Me Who's teacher. Ben? Thank you. All right. El primero que me dijo mi teacher después de Johnny y después vamos con los demás compañeros que levantaron la manita. Okay. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, too, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. All I can manage is small, is small and big projects, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can use spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? All right, very good, thank you. All right, before I can ever levanto la mano, so ever you're going to be Andre, and Mariano, you can be Ben, thank you. Teacher, one question. The meeting, the spreadsheet, what is? A spreadsheet is una hoja de cálculo. Una hoja de cálculo. Un Excel, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Hoja de cálculo. Okay, perfect. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English, but I can manage a small and big projects, and I am a very good at sales. Oh, that's so great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using a spreadsheet? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can use a spreadsheet. But I am a fast learn learner. Learner, yes. Get it. Get it. When can you start? Excellent. Thank you, guys. That was very nice. Let's see. Yo sé que Carlita quiere participar. No se va a quedar con ganas, Carla. Usted me va a leer, André. All right. And Maritza. All right. You're going to be Ben. Okay. Hello, Ben. And welcome. My name is Andres Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big project. And I, I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can use a spreadsheet, but I, I am a fast learner. I carry it, where can you start? All right, very good. Okay, guys, let's see. 
So remember the pronunciation here, it's um, qualifications, all right? So when usted va a una entrevista y le dicen, what, Maritza, what are your qualifications for this job? Obviamente usted se vende, ¿verdad? Y dice, ah, mire, yo hablo inglés, hablo aquí, hablo allá, hablo allá. Tengo estas habilidades, bla, bla, bla. All right, so you can do many things. Qualifications, all right? Um, yo voy, tenemos la otra. Um, I'm, I'm good at sales, all right? Sales is the pronunciation. Tenemos spreadsheets, all right? Um, I'm a fast learner. All right, learner, and I get it. Yeah, that's it. No sé si tienen alguna otra pregunta. Do you have any questions regarding pronunciation or meaning? No, teacher. No, everything okay? Teacher. Yes. The correct pronunciation for branch. 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 It's branch, branch. yes. Offer, off, offering. Offering. That's yes. fine. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Very good, yes, all right, okay. So this is what you guys are going to do. Solo déjeme que quiero encontrar eso. Um, Please. Hold on. Ahorita voy. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys I'm going to give you some job some positions, more. okay? Ahorita se las estoy buscando aquí. All right, hold on. I'm just, give me one second. Okay. Hold on, guys, give me a second. All right, this is what we're going to do. And lo que me carga esto. All right, I'm going to stop sharing here. I'm going to give you, I'm going to send you to your groups right now to work. All right. And then I'm going to give you a job position. For example, I'm going to tell you for group, let's say group number one, I'll say your job position is a regional manager. All right. Together. For example, if Daniel, Jorge, Alfredo, and Carlos Eduardo are in one group together and the job position is regional manager, I want you to think about the qualifications needed for that particular job position, okay? And you're going to make a list. That's the first thing you're going to do, okay? When you finish making a list of the job qualifications, I want you to come up with a short conversation. One of you is the interviewer and the other one is you're helping each other, all right? So you're going to ask, for example, I say, so um, welcome, Daniel. This is um, Jessica Cerritos, all right? And uh, tell me about yourself. What are your qualifications for this job position? the general, the regional manager. And Daniel will say, okay, listen, um, I can, and then he's gonna tell me some qualifications. No todas, para que yo le pueda preguntar, por ejemplo, si alguna de las, um, de las cualidades o las que necesitamos requisitos para el, el trabajo es, can you travel? All right, y él no me mencionó nada. Usted puede decir, um, not at this moment, but I can travel like in a couple of weeks, all right? because I need to finish some other um, um, situations I have. The idea is that I want you to think about a conversation using the job position, the qualifications, and that you're able to say, I can, and I'm a fast learner, okay? That's what you guys are going to do. Do you understand what you guys are going to do? Yes? Yes, so, so. So, so, what, what's wrong? Um, uh, Johnny, why so, so? Tell me why. Uh, what is the difference between qualification and abilities? Ah, very similar, um, Johnny, but in the case of abilities, for example, you can say I can swim, 
I can speak English, I can drive a car, I can ride a horse, all right? But those are not qualifications for a job, all right? Those are abilities in general, all right? Okay. All right, so they are similar, but not really, okay. Is the ability so is is the ability some person? Um, personally. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, I mean both, the, uh, Alexander. They can be personal and the, the abilities for the job. But in when you go for an interview, I don't say what are your abilities. I say what are your qualifications. It's more formal. It's the same, but in a different context. All right, because if I ask you, what are your abilities? Then me puede decir, yo corto, me puedo subir a la palmera y cortar un poco. All right, que no cualquiera lo hace, by the way. All right, esa es una habilidad, pero tiene que ver eso con regional manager? I don't think so. ¿Verdad? Entonces, qualifications are more like for a job. Okay? All right? Yes. Okay. Excellent. So, the idea, Johnny, right now, Johnny y todos, ¿verdad? Ahorita yo les voy a asignar. Los voy a asignar en, a grupos, pero antes de mandarlo, les voy a decir, en el grupo 1 es tal, tal posición, tal um, trabajo. All right, grupo 2 es tal, tal, tal. All right, y así todos. Cuando usted esté en su grupo, you're going to talk about what, think. Hay que hacer una brainstorming, all right? What are the qualifications we need for this job position en general? ¿Qué habilidades? ¿Qué cosas tiene que tener alguien que pide este trabajo? ¿Verdad? Y luego hacemos una conversación corta donde usted le pregunta a la otra persona, Ajá, so what are your qualifications for the job? Y el VIR viene y menciona un par. All right, luego no las menciona todas el VIR porque si no sería un perfect candidate, all right, which is good, pero así le da la oportunidad de que le pregunten, um, and can you, um, uh, can you use um, all the computer programs? And then Elvir says, um, not all, but I can learn very fast. All right, yes? Oh, I see Johnny? Yeah, teacher, Excellent. thank you. All right, okay, vamos a ver aquí. Voy a abrir grupos y antes de mandarlo les digo what your job position is. Vamos a hacer... All right, yeah, a ver, permítanme. A ver, Carlos, solo me va, le lo apunta uno porque si todos lo apuntan, cuando usted llegue a ese grupo vas a ver. All right, Carlos García, está en la sala uno. All right, your job position de todo el grupo obviamente es um, sales executive, Carlos García. Sales executive, all right. Sala dos, Vicky, you are a credit analyst, uh, analyst, a credit analyst, all right. Grupo 3, Elvir. You are a driver. The job position is a driver. Okay? Yes? All right. Uh, for Johnny, receptionist. Okay? Number 5, Edwin Eliseo, doctor. Y ahorita más que nunca. <laughs> Number six, um, Carlos Eduardo. Teacher. All right. Okay, and teacher. number seven, Carlos Walberto. Let's see. We are going to. Santo Dios, ¿y esto cómo se dice en inglés? Ni sé qué es en español. <laughs> All right, estoy viendo de verdad cosas reales. Aquí alguien sabe que es termoformados. Operario de termoformados. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a machine. Oh, really, Daniel. Thank you. Es una, right es una, es una, es una máquina de, de plástico. Oh. Que, que forma, forma, convierte el plástico en, 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 en digamos, un plato, un vaso. Oh, nice. Qué chivo. All right, very nice. Es un puesto de operario. Ah, ah, ok, ya me aprendí algo nuevo. All right, Carlos Walberto, usted va a ser um, a call center agent, donde está hablando y está cobrando, all right? So I'm sorry for you. <laughs> all right, guys. 
Abro los grupos, se van a los grupos, all right, y si cayó en la sala 7, sabe que es a call center agent, for, for example. Si cayó en el 6, sabe que es a teacher. Johnny, usted escribió, ¿verdad? Que les dije el nombre, escribieron ahí. Si se les yes. olvidó, sorry. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yo los regreso en unos uh, 15 minutos. Vamos a ir viendo cómo van. Hello, teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, se me desapareció el cuadrito de la sala. Ah, ahorita, Gilmar, no se preocupe. Gracias. Eh, perdóneme, ¿es Gilmar o Gilmar? No quiero estar diciéndole mal el nombre, disculpe. Me dices de muchas maneras. Gilmar, Gilmar, nada, no importa. <risa> ok, a ver, lo muevo entonces. La 1, vi que decía ahí. Sí, solo que no lo puedo regresar a la 1, lo voy a poner en la sala 2, oye. Está bien, muchas gracias.
Hi, Tisha. Hi, Mariano, Nancy, and Carlos. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have a many question? questions. Yes. Yes. Uh, the activity is to, to present a short conversation. Yeah, conversation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, Using the qualifications that you guys thought about for the job position. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. One of, of the, the group is a entrevistador. No sé yeah, an interviewer. Yeah. Interviewer. It can be you or Nancy or Carlos, doesn't matter. Another one is. Uh, yes. Yeah, the okay. other one is applying for the job position. All right. Yes. yes. What is your job position? Uh, <laughs> call call center, center agent. agent. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. A call center agent. Very good. Finished or you're doing the conversation right now? Uh, we are uh, trying to make the conversation. Okay, very good, Carlos. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, very good. You still have time. I think like five more minutes, all right? Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Entonces, sí, comencemos la conversación. Alguien tiene que ser entrevistador. Sí.
Hi guys, finished? Carlos, Fatima, and Daniel. Hi teacher. Nice. Yes, teacher. Finished everything? Yes. All right, okay. So let's go back then. Voy a sacarlos ya todos de los grupos, all right? Okay, thank no. you. Everybody's coming back now, okay? All right, very good. I see everybody's coming back now. Did you finish? Most of you finished, kind of? So, so, okay, that's fine. So, so, teacher. <laughs> okay, Maria Melina, that's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Maria Melina, what was the job position? Um. We are offering a receptionist position. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. So, I and need you more time. <laughs> yes, I know, Elvin. I'm sorry, but we need to get going with this. <laughs> no, right. more time. 10 okay. o'clock, please. Excuse me? <laughs> All right. We need okay. more time. I know, I know, but um, don't worry. We're going to keep <laughs> working on this idea. All right. Very good. Let's see. Okay. Um, Let's see here. Um, Maria Melina, you were working with Johnny, no? Yes, teacher, and right. George. Okay, all right, let's see. Um, what are some of the qualifications that you need for someone to have for a receptionist position? Um, um, I can use PBX, that telephone. Okay, so they have to use the telephone. What else do they have? They, uh -huh. um, I can use um, the computer programs. Okay. And I can speak English. Oh, nice. Okay. And I can be kind. Uh -huh. I am a um, good communicator. Excellent. All right. And... Not a gossiper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. And I can be organized. Ah, all right. So those are the qualifications that you're looking for, for the receptionist. Very good. Let's see. A ver. Um, right now, I just want to listen to the qualifications. All right. Um, Evers Group, what was your job position? Hello, teacher. Yes. What was your job uh, position? Or your position was a credit analyst. Oh, credit analyst. All right. So what are some of the qualifications that you're looking for in someone? In they, someone, we are some uh, qualifications like a, 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 we're search a person, a responsible person. Okay. Uh, we need an organizer. Organized? Uh, okay. Organized. Okay. We need to a uh, one person focus on goals. Okay. And, you can be kind to person and work on you. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Cuando decimos enfocado en objetivos o en goles, podemos decir uh, goal oriented. All right. Yep. Yeah, very nice. Goal okay. Oriented. Yes. Very good. Let's see. Very Romeo, good. what was your job position? Um, um, responsible in, uh, oh. estabilidad financiera. Like financial stability? Pero cuál era la posición de trabajo, Romeo? Ah, era un analista de crédito. Ah, el mismo de Evan. Ah, okay. Ah, all right. Okay, okay. That's okay, Romeo. Hold on. Let's see. What about um Elvir your um Position was driver, right? Right. Okay. What was um what qualifications were you looking for in a person? 
Uh, in the group, nos enfoquemos por the question, but the qualification, <laughs> eh, I need more time. But eh, in this case, uh, I, I know the root of the city. Okay. And don't, don't use the phone will drive. <laughs> Please not. Okay. Very good. Okay. And I have valid documents for drive. Yes. All right. Like your license, your driver license. All right. And the proper right. one, right? Porque aquí no dijimos si era liviano, okay, ¿verdad? Yes. All right. right. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Um, yes. Very good. Let's see. Um, Vicky, what was your group? The uh, position, Vicky? Eh, igual que ever. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Ahorita estamos... Analyst. Okay. Ah, all right. Marlon, what was your group's uh, job position? It was driver. With I was a driver. Group. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Um, Daniel, what was your job position? And in, in my group, uh, our job position is sales executive. Okay, so what are the qualifications that someone must have or that you're looking for? Um, Easy communications mm -hmm. and customer service. Okay. In the using of spreadsheets. Okay, spreadsheets, yes. Complement with goals. Mm -hmm. And may in talk um, many languages. Ah, oh, to speak many languages. Ah, many languages. Language. Interesting. Chinese, Japanese, Spanish. English, English, French. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, nice. Very good. All right. Yes. Me falta otro job position. Creo que había un teacher y había otro. Doctor. A doctor. Okay. Yes. A call center agent. Yes. Uh -huh. The call center mm -hmm. Who had the teacher? The job position for a teacher? Who had it? The teacher. Group six. Oh, group six. Okay, Alexander. So what does a teacher... What are the qualifications for a teacher? Uh, I, the qualif qualification of the teacher is I come the professional. Uh-huh. Uh, is is titled uh, academic preparation. Yes, all right. Yes, to have an academic degree. Uh-huh. I can go empathy. Ah, oh, very good. Em, 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 yeah, em, uh -huh. empathy. Empathy. Uh, empathy. Uh, I can team work. Team work. Trabajar en grupo así es team work. Ah, team work. Super. Very good, Alexander. Teamwork. Yes, team work. Very nice. Uh, I can charisma. Charismatic. Charismatic. Yes. Okay. Charismatic. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. Is I uh, abilities uh, responsibly. Of course. Vocation. Uh, uh -huh, like inner calling, yes, okay. Okay, super, very good. Okay, um, the agent, the call center agent, what are the qualifications for that one? Uh, responsibility, mm -hmm. organization, organizational ability. Excellent. Effective communication skill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very ability, effective. <laughs> ability to handle the pressure. Yes. Uh huh. Knowledge about the product and service. Okay. And um, speed and efficiency. Efficiency. Okay. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Speed. Speak to language. Nah, language speak to languages. Or more, <laughs> all right. The more, the merrier. Very good. Okay. Uh, todas las job positions ya las dijimos. Did you tell me all of the job positions, or am I missing one? You are. You are missing doctor. Doctor. All right. So who had doctor? Marco, David, did your group have a doctor position? No. Yes. Okay. Can you tell us the qualifications? Only the qualification. Yes, right now only the qualifications. Yes. All right. Um, honest. Honest. Uh, polite, uh -huh. polite language. Okay. Uh, 
treatment, personalized. Like personalized treatment, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Attent, attentive. Attentive. Committed to the profession. <laughs> yeah, very committed, especially during these times. All right. Okay. All right. A ver. Um, do we have a group that finished the conversation? Uh, the finish only the the abilities only that. No, the conversation. No. no. Okay, that's okay. What about the rest okay. of you? That's okay. But, Nobody. But we we can uh, say that we have. All right, Marco. Who were you working with? Okay, that's fine. Who were you working with, Marco? I don't know the name. <laughs> oh, okay, who was working with Marco? Fatima? No. no. <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. Who was working with Marco? There was a doctor. Marco is doctor. I'm here. Ah. <laughs> <It's scared. laughs> Marco. Doctor is scared. <laughs> I know it. Uh oh, all right, very good. All right, let's hey, see. Marco. See you. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, Marco. Elvir El El uh, now a uh, little history. <laughs> oh, ah, about me. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Tomorrow you yeah. tell me the story. All right. <laughs> right. All right. Very good. Let's see. Marco, do you want to be the interviewer? And Francisco, do you want to be the uh, the applicant of for the job position? Right, uh, we we we'll read the the conversation. Sure. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I'm beginning. Uh, okay, hi. Good start. morning. Hi. Good morning. My name hi, is good morning. Marco. What is your name? Okay, Michael. My name is Frank. Nice to meet you. Next, I coming for the offer. Ah uh, uh, yes. I watched the offer uh, of Dr. Job. Well, can you tell me what about your qualities? Okay, my qualities are, I, I, uh, I, uh, I am a good person and I, I can, I can help you, I can help people and I, and I would like to, to be doctor, to be a doctor. What about the 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 chief extensive? Uh, I don't have problem with that. What is your specialty? Specialty. Specialty. Uh huh. Specialty. Okay, my I consider that my specialty is a dentist. Oh, oh well. What program can you can you you use? Uh, okay, I can use, for example, Microsoft Office a little bit. Right. Only that. To yeah, excellent. Very nice, Marco. Thank you, Frank and and Marco. That was very okay. nice. All right, guys. I know that you didn't have enough time to finish. All right, but that's okay. Keep the idea in mind because we're going to keep on talking about this qualifications and abilities tomorrow. All right. So don't worry about it. We can um, finish tomorrow again. All right. I'm going to take the attendance so you guys can go and rest. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Carlos Walberto Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Ever de Jesus Candray. Thank you, Edwin. Uh, Ever de Jesus Candray Montano. Present teacher. All right. Fatima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. I'm here. 
Thank you, Jose Francisco Hernandez Avalos. I'm here. Carla uh, Benazir Lara Gonzalez. Carla? All right. Uh, Marco David Velasquez Vasquez. Present. Maria Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present, teacher. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Misael Rivera Aquino. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nancy Lizette Rodriguez Escoto. Present, teacher. Romeo Alexis Rodrigo Joaquin. Rodriguez, perdón, Joaquin. Present. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodriguez. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Carlos Eduardo Mel Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez, Ana Milka Cañengues Aceituno. All right, guys, very good. Thank you so much for being with me this first class, for being with me those, these two hours. All right, I hope you enjoy the class. I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. If you can, please do homework number one. Estamos usando Ken and Kent. Mañana igual hablamos un poquito de eso, pero I think you guys can do activity number one because you know the use of this already. Only Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez stays with me 10 minutes and then the rest you may go. Bye guys. Thank you. Good night. Bye, Good night. Good night. Bye everybody. Bye now. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Good night, Bye. Everybody. It's a pleasure, teacher. Good night. It's been a pleasure tomorrow. for me too. Thank you. See you tomorrow, Alvid. Hi, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos Roberto, you're still working? Yes, yet. I'm, I'm here yet. <laughs> and what time do you finish, Carlos? Right now, uh, ah. when our call is finished. <laughs> ah, okay. And tomorrow, what time do you start um, work? At the same hour. Yes, I'm going to start at uh, 8 a.m. So you, how many, <laughs> Carlitos, how many hours do you work? 12? Maybe, uh, yes, I think 12 yeah. hours or more. <laughs> or more, Carlos. Or and that's hours. every day, Carlos? You say you have to stay? No. Ah. Okay, no, no, it's not forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you rest yeah. Saturdays and Sundays, Carlos, or you work every on the weekends? Only Sundays. Only Sundays. All right. I so you... work Saturday to the middle day. All right. Okay, half a day. Yes, only half day. <laughs> oh my goodness, Carlos. All right. Do you like your job? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> But all right i don't have more options <laughs> yes i know but you will when you speak more english <laughs> more possibilities carlitos you never know yes yes thank right. you so what exactly I do want... you do carlos right here yes mm -hmm. uh, i'm, I'm uh, analyze credits so. mm. yes i'm right now on the supervisor of the back office area oh so right. i'm analyze credits and call clients to talk about the, um, the pace okay. or, and things like that okay all right and how long have you been working there for carlos at that company how long have you been working there near two two years i have okay yes all right okay very good okay carlos well you were the first one in the list because you are the first one yeah. on my attendance list um i don't do you have any questions about anything carlos about english or anything that i mean we didn't really see much today because it was the first day but i don't know if you have any questions 
Yeah, because oh. it's the first class, maybe I don't have. Yeah, I <laughs> yes. know. It's it's kind of but, difficult for the first one. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, and now it's my turn. But uh, yeah, maybe to use the time, you can introduce me again to the first unit, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, the first unit of this um, course. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. Right. Yeah. We are going yes. to be talking about job listing. That is the name of the unit, Carlos. Job listing. So we have, we're going to see many um, or a lot of vocabulary related to our jobs. All right, and job positions. So that's why we're talking about qualifications, skills, abilities. All right. When we talk about abilities or qualifications, which they are very similar, we can use <laughs> can. All right, and can't in negative. All right. So, for example, if you go to a job position and they say, Can you speak three languages? And you say, No, I can't. I can only speak two English and Spanish. All right. Or you say, Yes, I can, for example. All right. So, we're going to see that the use of can and can't, would and could, and time expressions in unit one. All right. So, all this week, we're going to study. Uh, about qualifications, abilities, skills, the use of can and can't, would and could, okay. and time expressions. Okay, so that's for unit number one. Okay, and what about the next unit? Um, actually, you know what? To be honest, I haven't seen um okay. the grammar that we need to study. But for example, oh, for the unit number two, which is uh, staff and schedules, we're going to review oh. the simple present. Okay. All right. And then we have to review the present progressive and the past tense okay. of B. All right. Okay. So that's good because it's like a general review of the main tenses before you go to intermediate level. Okay. Right. And I think yeah. the topics are in the sequential line. Or yes, like they that. are. Right. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. All right. And they are made this way so you can like. Uh, review and make sure that you understand everything for the, the, the tenses, the main tenses, and then you move on to intermediate because in intermediate is different. It's more speaking than grammar. All right. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. Wow. So only <laughs> on the basic the levels, month. Carlitos, that you see grammar on the um, on the intermediate and advanced, no es que no vea, pero es mucho menos, es más speaking, 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 speaking about the topics that are on the book. Yeah, es pues por el avance en el que vamos avanzando y todo. That's eso. right, yes. Y por eso cerramos este módulo 6, digamos, que es el último de los básicos, haciendo un repaso de los tiempos más, digamos, principales, pero del pasado, el presente, el progresivo. Uh -huh. que fueron básicamente lo, lo primero que vimos en los módulos exacto, anteriores. sí exacto. Ah, es como sí. un repaso general un digamos, de todo esto para empezar el intermedio y así como súper bien ¿verdad? ok, y no sabe usted si nos van a dar algún, bueno creo que sí pero no sé si solo el final o por cada digámoslo pues, por cada módulo que tengamos. Quizá el certificado módulo, pero... Ah, eso, por paz, sí. intermedio. Sí, de hecho, sí. eh, fíjese que sí, se les extiende uno, lo que pasa que todo eso es through in support, entonces sí, claro. eh, eh, es como un poco lento, ¿verdad? Pero sí, de hecho tienen sí. que tener eh, un diploma por nivel o por módulo. Ah, entonces, que, que para el tema de la pandemia, supongo que... Sí, mire, ahorita está súper lento, ¿verdad? Como la, muchas cosas que se han, han detenido. Antes, cuando estábamos presencial, digamos que se tardaban unas tres semanas, más o menos, y se le entregaba al participante su eh, diploma del módulo que acababa de cursar, ¿verdad? Pero sí se les da, eh, Carlos, porque ah, le queda ajá. como un, un soporte, un registro a ustedes, o un apoyo de que se ha estudiado, ¿verdad? All right, yeah. Ajá, eso creo que puede pues, meter la hoja de vida, ¿verdad? Sí, no, claro que sí, sí, por supuesto, sí. All right, súper okay. bien. Pero vamos, voy a estar pendiente, les voy a preguntar también a los compañeros de administrativo de la academia para ver cómo vamos con eso de los, de los diplomas, pero sí, sí se les entrega. Uh -huh. Se les hace llegar. Very good, Muchas Carlitos. Gracias. Thank you, lo dejo descansar. Cuídense mucho. Thank I'll you. see you tomorrow. Bye, Carlos. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.